This girl is crazy today. I was debating on filming this another night, but you guys wanted a real nighttime routine. And this is gonna be it. You wanna play with the pomegranate? You want that one? Let me just wash that. Wash it. All right, there you go. New toy. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna be going through my updated nighttime routine with a one-year-old. Things are a little crazy these days, but I feel like we have a really good routine that makes it a little bit easier just to kind of ex know what to expect throughout the day and also help her wind down and for us all to have a good sleep at night. Oh, I thought that was gonna fall. I feel like we're in a good spot right now where we have a good routine, Sage is able to get a good night's sleep and we're also able just to have some like us time at the end of the day. Can you tell she skipped her second nap today? Yeah, you did. But you guys have been asking for a nighttime routine ever since I posted mm. my morning routine video. So today is gonna be just that, a real nighttime routine. I also wanna give a huge thank you to Osea for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. They are a female founded climate neutral plant-based brand. They make amazing, beautiful skincare, and I can't wait to share a little bit more about them in today's video. So if you aren't already subscribed, click the button down below. I post here every single week. Join the family and let's get into the video. <laughs> first things first, we are gonna start prepping dinner. So it's actually uh, just after four, which seems really early, but you know what? The earlier, the better, because she eats dinner quite early and I find if we can prep dinner, <sighs> I find if we can prep dinner and have it ready before we wind her down and get her down for bed, we can actually just like enjoy dinner in some peace and quiet without her, you know, screaming, grabbing, <clears throat> crawling, all the things. You gonna sit in your chair? So as you can tell, we are not at home. We are in Florida for the winter. If you haven't been following along or you're new here, we are Canadian snowbirds as they call it. So we're in a lovely Airbnb beachside house right now. Did you just grab a snack? Okay, I think that was a rice puff. I don't really know. This little like high chair is great. It just attaches to a counter. You just gotta strap her in. Yeah. Can you tell she was Wonder Woman for Halloween? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you're crazy. You're crazy. The plan is to do the salmon, rice, avocado, seaweed wrap bowls. You've probably seen them. Thanks, Chloe. My sister's here, by the way. Hiko. No, she doesn't want. Rejected. Book. Okay, she likes a book. If you haven't seen this bowl, it's like viral on TikTok. We made it in the... Have a kiss? Mm. Oh. Thanks, Sage. This is a recipe I made in the first week in Florida vlog. So you've probably seen it before, but what's really great is I love meals like this because you can make it for the whole family and easily customize it for baby or toddler in this case. So Sage really isn't having a lot of like salt and added sugar in her foods. So if I'm gonna make something that might be a little salty, I can just put some aside for her. We've been making this a ton for her. It's super easy and it tastes so good. And if you have leftovers, it's perfect for lunch the next day too. So we got this beautiful, filet of wild sockeye salmon. It's gonna be 20 minutes in the oven. The oven is the way to do like a lot of fish all at once. You don't have to sit there watching it on the stove. Start. So this is only like our third day here, so I'm still finding my way around the kitchen, but we do need a pan, so I'm gonna find that. This girl reaches for everything. Okay, parchment paper. 
Okay, touch it, touch it. Okay, but I'm gonna put some raw fish on here. You want some paper to play with? Here, here you go. You do yours, okay? And Mommy will do hers. Salmon, oh, it just fits, okay? lemon juice and pepper on the entire thing but I'm just gonna do salt on like three quarters of it so I can leave a little section salt free for sage It's Sage's dinner time. It's our snack time. Chloe is hanging out with Sage in the living room. Fish is done. That's why I love just like throwing things in the oven. It takes like no time at all and you don't have to sit there and watch it. You just put a timer on and get on with the rest of your day. Yeah. This girl is her happiest when there's food. Oh, okay. Mmm, rice. Okay, you do it. You do it. It's much better with tamari and seaweed wraps, but. Want some salmon? Want some water? dinner okay all right we're gonna get cashew her dinner now Seiji is crawling everywhere Mwah. I'm actually gonna go wash up I find if I do my skincare routine before I'm like fully tired for the night I'll actually like do all the steps and then it's like the hard stuff not even the hard stuff but the stuff I want to get done is out of the way and then Matt is going to feed Cashew and then wind Sage down. You look way too energized. Yeah, she's gonna crawl around, get her energy out, and then we're gonna just relax, eat our food. I just have the salmon in the warm oven right now and we can just eat our food and relax baby free, you know? It's like the little things at the end of the night that we look forward to. What are you doing? Thank you. 
Oh, are you pooping? That's a poop for sure. That's a poop for sure. Let me smell. Oh, no. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was a poop squat. Whoa, that's a full load in there. I know some people do bath time every night with their babies. We definitely don't do that. I feel like we do it every couple of days. She just had a bath last night. Actually, no, this morning, right? Yeah, she had a bath this morning because she was sticky after breakfast. So no bath tonight, but we're gonna change the diaper. Okay. You want a book? Oh, you wanna take that with you? Okay, let's take that with you. All right, so while Matt is getting Sage ready for bed, I am gonna sneak away to get some me time in. I find this is the time to do it at night while Sage is napping. I can do a couple of extra things just to nourish my body and my skin. As I mentioned, this video is in collaboration with Osea. They have amazing plant-based skincare products that honestly are so luxurious and good for your skin. I cannot get enough of this brand. You guys know I'm so picky when it comes to skincare. In the shower after I I've washed my body. I like to go in with a salt scrub. I love this salts of the earth body scrub. It is just the most beautiful texture, so softening on the skin and it exfoliates without overdoing it and it just leaves your skin hydrated and glowy. Even if you put nothing else on after you get out of the shower, your skin just feels so soft and hydrated. And then for my face to wash off all of my makeup and dirt from the day, I'm using the Ocean Cleanser. I love this face cleanser. It just melts everything off your face, makeup, dirt, oil. It leaves my skin feeling so clean. And just to show you how well this takes off makeup, I just had a white towel wiping off any residue and it's completely clean. Once I'm out of the shower, I just spritz my face with some rose water. It just helps kind of balance my skin. And then I'm taking my sea salt and lime lip polish from my skincare line and I am just exfoliating my lips. These are just like the extra things that I don't get to do if I'm taking a shower in the morning that I like to take the extra time to do at night. I'm just dabbing some eye cream under my eyes. Then I'm taking this anti-aging C serum by Osea and I'm just putting it all over my face. It has a really light texture to it, kind of like a gel. It just melts right into your skin and it layers really well under a moisturizer. I like to even bring it down to my chest and my shoulders and just get it all over the place. Then I'm taking the Seabiotic water cream from Osea and I'm just locking everything in. I love this one because I find some moisturizers will just sit on the skin and this one just sinks right in. It is a weightless water cream moisturizer that delivers up to 72 hours of deep hydration. So it's great for dry winter skin as well as it has seaweed and a microbiome friendly pre and probiotic to visibly promote skin radiance. And my favorite part of my nighttime skincare routine lately is using the best-selling Anderia Algae Body Oil from Osea. It leaves your skin feeling so soft and glowy and I always have dry legs and I swear this has helped them so much. It's a seaweed infused body oil that hydrates, softens and nourishes and firms your skin. It has an uplifting scent of this like unique citrusy lime, grapefruit and cypress scent. It's amazing. Your whole bathroom will smell so good. And all of the Osea products are vegan, cruelty-free, non-GMO, and California made. You guys can use my code on the screen for 10% off. All of the products I used in today's video will be linked down below in the info box for you guys to easily shop and check out. I am washed up and ready for a relaxing evening, but first we are gonna have our dinner. Honestly, I love having my dinner after Sage is in bed because it just allows us to fully enjoy it and just enjoy some time together and enjoy good food. So we are having the rice and salmon, avocado and seaweed bowls. I don't know what to call this, but it's basically like a deconstructed sushi roll. And then I'm having some lemon sparkling water. So we had dinner, we chilled for a bit in the living room, watched a show and then I usually end up coming into the bedroom a little bit earlier than Matt. I like to do a couple things to wind myself down. I always make a chamomile tea. I love this chamomile lavender one. I also like to have essential oils going. It just really sets the mood and relaxes me after a long day. 
And I like to lay down my acupressure mat on my pillows and just relax on it while I watch a show or two on YouTube. And I know it's not like the best thing to do before bed, but we're just keeping it real. I like to just end my night with my tea on my mat and just fully relax at the end of the day. And it just helps me unwind and it's kind of meditative for me. I did just order a fiction book. So I'm gonna try to start reading again before bed. Um, but lately I've just been watching a show, usually baking on YouTube. I've been enjoying, I find it really relaxing. But anytime I'm feeling, you know, a little stressed or anxious, I, I do this and it just totally helps chill me out and that is my nighttime routine with a one-year-old keeping it real i would love to hear what three things you do every single night to wind down whether you have kids or not and also a huge thank you again to osea for sponsoring this video you guys know i am so picky when it comes to skincare and i truly believe in this brand the quality of their products is phenomenal i know you will love them too and definitely use my code for 10 percent off i will have a link down below and all the products that i mentioned in today's video in the info box for you guys to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe for more weekly videos. Have a relaxing, beautiful evening, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.